my god, are you ready for the diaper sash that is taking me two years to collect? <sighs> Wasn't intentional, guys. Was not intentional. I did not think it was going to take me two years to get pregnant. I'm not complaining because it could have taken me five years or ten years and I probably would have had like triple the amount, quadruple. I don't know what comes after quadruple. But yeah, <laughs> the amount of diapers that I have. But um, this is what I have so far and uh, obviously I said 75% uh, of what I'm going to show you, I'm going to donate um, after we're done. It's no need in me trying to resell them. I think I'm just going to donate it for good karma because I'm one of those people that believe in good karma. <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys. Ah, here we go. Awesome. So these right here are my beautiful fuzzy buns. Um, I love the colors. Don't like fuzzy bun elites. And I know baby isn't here yet and I shouldn't say that. But this pocket, the way it just hangs there, that's going to irritate me. I already know it. So believe it or not, grandma says that um, she doesn't know. Like She's like, oh, I'm going to come over here and pick up diapers that I want to keep in my house. No. Grandma, you're not. You're going to get all the fuzzy buns. <laughs> and then you're going to like them. And then that's what you're going to have at your house. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like these. Um, so I have all the different colors. Look at how beautiful. It's like freaking Skittles, guys. Look at, like, Skittles. So those are all my fuzzy bun elites. Beautiful, beautiful. Out of colors, what's my favorite? Turquoise. Yes, I love turquoise. Then I am moving on to... My China cheapies. Uh oh, diapers are falling. That's how many I have. SpongeBob, I got. Uh, by Shine Baby, another pocket diaper. Um, like I said, I'm really not. I plan on doing more intense reviews after baby comes and showing you exactly which diapers I like and which diapers I don't like. This is just an assumption. But, um, yeah, that's going to be so cute. I love watching babies in diaper videos. They're so freaking cute. So, this is a minky one. I don't know. I've got a bunch of them. ABC. Look at that. Isn't that cute? How do you not want to get that? Like I said, guys, I'm a panty hoarder too. So it's only natural that I want my baby to have like a different diaper every two minutes because I'm constantly changing my Victoria's Secrets. And I've got like two drawers of Victoria's Secrets already. So this was just a natural thing for me and my family. <laughs> it was just like, it just made so much sense. Like, what? I can claw a diaper? Like, really they didn't have this 16 years ago dude like they didn't have like all the pretty freaking colors otherwise i would have cloth diaper when my kids were younger they had like the wool and that just was not appealing to me this is what i did to get me through my help getting me through my trying to conceive phase um i made binky holders my sewing is really off i don't like my sewing machine i didn't get a really good one and like i fight with her all the time but yeah, I made binky holders. So if you're trying to conceive and you're going through like baby fever and you want to do something, so pick up needle and thread or knit. I made a bunch of stuff too. And that kind of kept the baby fever depression at bay for a little bit. Sometimes it got too depressing to where I wasn't able to do as many projects as I wanted to. But then like we're always getting invited to baby showers and I just re-gift some of these. Hey, you know, good karma. Two boxes unopened of Charlie Bananas. These are, oh, let me see, just the pastel ones, you can see through the box, I'm not going to bother to take them all out, because then I have to put them all away, and baby room is not done yet, actually it's still being converted, so oldest girl is getting kicked out of her room, she's going to move in with the other girl, and baby's going to have her own room, or his own room, more Charlie Bananas, Alba baby color snaps how many do you have I don't know I'm not counting but you guys can see I do have a lot I do like these I think I am really going to like these I love the color snaps they get me with the colors they do like look at that isn't that cute and then more Charlie bananas okay for oh wait let's go over here so these are my bum genius free times I have a few I have the ones that I really like. I've narrowed it down to trying to get designs or patterns that I absolutely love versus just whatever is cheap. Now I'm at the point where it's not, I'm not at that trying to be economical. I'm just having fun and, and going to enjoy 
this diaper stage and just make the most out of it. So if I see a diaper, it's like 40 bucks that I want to see on my baby's butt, even though it's going to poop in it, that's what I'm going to get. If that's what I feel like doing. This one was probably my priciest one. It's a Martin. I love that one, though. The tiger's got blue eyes. And it's my favorite color, turquoise. Ah, I gotta love turquoise. Oh, and then this one, jazz. That's because my daughter plays the saxophone and so does my brother. So I just thought that was cute. Actually, I have like two of these. One so I can wear out and then one for later for momentums. I don't know. I also started making my own cloth wipes. I have over a hundred of these. I did not pull them all out. Flannel on one side. I think it's just cotton on the other. Some of them are double flannel. I made a blanket with that. Isn't that cute? I had fun with this. And I normally don't like that whole zebra print. But I just thought it looked so freaking cute together. So I, I made like a hundred, but this isn't all of them, like a hundred of these. So yeah, I had fun with that until my sewing machine started irritating me. Moving on, I did get Planet Wise. Um, I don't like the fabric, but I did like the turquoise. So yeah, so I have that one. I have a bunch more underneath here. These are more of the newborn part of my newborn stash. I'll do a better video when baby room is set up and a quick overview, but I have a bunch of these. Look at the pretty colors, pink. I am not going to, what is that, like gender classify, I think. So even if it's a boy and I feel like putting pink on him, I don't think it's going to make him turn out to be more feminine. Um, <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know. We'll see how boyfriend feels about it, but, you know, I don't really, I'm, I'm trying to de- program myself with saying girl toys are only for girls and boy toys are only for boys I don't want to do this with this child I kind of want to be like hey if you want a Barbie then play with the Barbie you don't have to play with the G.I. Joe so it's just I guess it's changing what society normally views so that's going to be fun for me too look at that one that's snails this is a newborn simplex I believe these are only some of the ones that I bought used I didn't buy too many used um, because like I said towards the end of my journey I just kind of wanted to just I just splurged and I just said you know twenty dollars I don't get myself anything I don't really want to buy used I don't it's not that I don't feel excited because I love used clothing in fact all the baby's clothes are going to be used but for the diapers I don't know I just felt like buying new I wanted to see fresh white diapers on my baby's bum <laughs> okay so those are more planets fitness or planet fitness that's the gym that I go at this is planet wise <laughs> God, I'm crazy. This is a Best Bottoms. Look at that. That's so going to be so cute for a picture. I plan on doing that for like a photo shoot with the little puppy. Ah! And then this is the hybrid to where you snap the insert in. I don't think I'm going to buy a whole new system. I think I'm just going to use pre-folds, which I have a ton of, and I'll show you. Um, Got to sit down. <laughs> Okay, so these are all the Rumparoo newborns. God, I'm having fun. Seriously, guys, I'm having so much fun just making this video. That's what that's what I'm like really, you guys, even if you're not pregnant, you're watching this, do what makes you happy. If if buying baby stuff makes you happy and you're playing around with it, then do it. Like it was actually a point, guys little secret where I was going to get a reborn doll if you haven't seen any videos on the reborn baby dolls look at them because that's how baby feverish I got I've never told anyone that I'm telling you guys that because I feel close enough to tell you that I was about to get a reborn baby look them up you can see how how crazy it is but yeah I was like on the verge of designing my own baby and having a reborn baby I still might do it though um I still might do it, but I'll probably wait till after baby's born or something. Because the reborn babies and the one that I want is like $300 or something. And I just don't have extra money to spend on a doll. But yeah, that's where I was going. I was looking at reborns, subscribed to reborn channels. I was watching the little baby reborn babies being taken out. I don't think I'd do all that, like take the, a reborn baby out in public. Because I think that's slightly creepy. But yeah, I totally probably play with a reborn baby at home. Yeah, and change it. Yeah, I probably would. That's a secret. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> okay, so this is Unity. So I have a bunch of these. Out of these, my fave... I love the turquoise, guys. Really. I love the whales. This is a newborn one, so it fits 
pretty small and then after baby gets bigger there's no shortage of diapers <laughs> so move on to something else um these right here are some flip diapers oh that's another alva so these right here are some of my flip diapers some of these i customized because like i said i i try to do everything imaginable to stay focused on trying to still have this baby and still satisfy that baby fever I know you girls know what I'm talking about so I customize a few of them not all of them but I customize a few of these like this flip diaper normally comes with um, I think it's butternut comes with butternut um, snaps but I bought the uh, hook and loop which is basically another word for velcro you can't really say velcro because velcro is patented kind of like if you were saying sugar you wouldn't say dominoes sugar you just say sugar you know so you have to use like a generic or broader term whatever you know um but yeah i did this one and look at that look at the color snaps on there isn't that cute oh my god i had so much fun doing these and i i bought like 15 of these and throughout the my journey I've been going to baby showers, and I've been, I don't know, like, once you give someone a gift, you shouldn't really care if they diaper, you know, or not, or what, what they do with the gift. I would hope that the people that I thought, gave thought diapers to used them, but I don't really think about it because it was a gift, and it was given with good intentions. So if they used it, great, and if they sold it, whatever, you know, it's, it's the act of giving that makes it rewarding, not what they do with it afterwards. But yeah, I made, like, a whole bunch of these. Um, I mean, I did the snaps. I didn't make them make them. I did try to make a few cloth diapers. I didn't, I couldn't get that far. So I did that one. Earth Tones. I love Earth Tones. And then this one. I did the snaps on that. I bought everything. Look at that. There's different color snaps. Guys can tell. There's another one. Mmm. I had fun doing this. I really did. You have to do what makes, you know, whatever gets you through this journey. That's what freaking matters. Like, you know, if, if doing this stuff makes you happy, then do it. And it made me happy. Um, got two more of those. I told you I love the jazz. These are all flip diapers, so basically you just put a pre-fold in here. Like I said, when baby comes, you are going to see a bunch of baby in claw diaper videos. Um, if, if it gets hard to watch, I totally understand, like, you can't watch it. But I'm going to have fun with doing it because I like these. These are like little panties. I mean, you know, without the guilt of wearing panties on video. So, yeah. <laughs> this is Patch. It's cute. It's a cute print. I'm not going to pull that one out. Because then I have to put it back. Um, over to these. <laughs> Long video. I know. Oh, my God. Okay. So, these are my THX diapers. I think I have about 12 of these. Um, that's probably my least favorite print right there. Um, but yeah. I had fun. I'm not going to tell you how many times I took these out and played with them. Too many times. And the main one I took out was this one. Oh! And yes, the baby is going to be biracial. And I just thought, black and white panda for a multiracial kid. How cute is that? Look at that. Isn't that cute? The little pandas. Yes. I had fun. This is probably going to last like maybe two weeks. I don't care though. I don't care like it's not about money it's about the cuteness and that was my drive in diaper hoarding wasn't supposed to be hoarding but yeah it, it is now um alba babies i did get a few alba babies i don't like these <laughs> um i just think they're going to be a pain in the butt to stuff so what i'm going to do is invest in bamboo liners because you can have bamboo next to baby, but not microfiber. And I'm probably going to change this to like a hybrid, maybe add some snaps, like put the little snap there, add a snap so it's like a two-in-one instead of a pocket. Because it's just like, you know, that's going to be way too tight. And my hand won't fit in there. I've tried it. It's not, that's going to be a pain. So I'm not going to do that. These are some uh, Pereiro brands. I got this off of... AliExpress, uh, stick with eBay. I don't know, because I had to customize this too much, and I'm still not sure I liked it. Like, all the blue snaps I had to add because this just had that funky little wing drop, and although Baby is not here, it was irritating me when I was playing with it, and I'm like, I'm not going to like it. So I had to add a snap here, which I think should fit better, but I won't find out until Baby gets here. 
It's my friend trying to beep in. You wait till I'm done making the video. <laughs> okay, so I have a bunch of these. Um, it's another cute one. I had to just add the snaps. But it's fun. Like, you can customize it. You know, it makes you feel like you're special. Like, you can sell more Alba babies, more Alba, more THX. These are more like plain colors. Like I told you, I like the black and white thing. Uh, look at this one. To my Canada sisters. Oh, Canada! Yay! Or maple leaves. But when I see maple leaves, I always think Canadian for some reason. I don't know um, why, but I always think maple leaves Canada, maple leaves Canada. So I don't know if that's made directly for our Canadian brothers and sisters or if it's just a maple leaf. But I look at this and I just think of Canada. I love Canada. Uh, if I could live anywhere else other than U.S. Beef Canada. I don't know. Or U.K. would be cool, too. To my U.K. sisters out there, because I know there's a few of you out there. I don't know. Or I should probably travel one day. And then look at that. Same reason. Look at it. Isn't that adorable? This is a limited edition. Some of them, I don't know. Like, some of them I just think are just too cute to put on a baby. But I don't know. I doubt it, though, because that would defeat the purpose. You'll probably see them in that one. Or her. More! Yes, you have more! Really? You have more? Yes. Now, this is my box of misfits. <laughs> These are, oh my god, I have a baby shower to go to, and I need to hurry up and get a baby gift together. It's another Alva. Doesn't have Alva on there. Alva's really wacky with naming all their products, but that is Alva. It's got a sewn-in liner, but you can still double stuff it. Probably not going to like this just because it's so wide here. I don't like that. Um, yes, these is the first diapers that I started buying, which is really the cheapest diaper you can get, like about $2. Um, and I probably will try this out because I'm curious to see how it fits. I probably will do a lot of modifications on it, but you will see this on um, baby, probably like a blue. But, um, yeah, it's, I forgot what brand it is. There's probably one here that's got a name on it. They're all basically like rebranded. Basically like the same thing, but they just stick different names of different companies on there. And I've given away, actually I gave this to one of my girlfriends. I gave her like about five or six of these. And she said she loved them. Because obviously I started off with like 20 or 30 of them because I didn't know if I was going to like cloth diapering two years ago. And then as I started doing more research, I was like, you know what, let me get something that I'm really, really, really going to like. And that's when I upgraded to the Bum Genius. Because at first I was like, I'm not spending $25 for a diaper. But I did. And you can. And you can get there really, really quick. Oh, let me hurry up because it's going on like 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm having so much fun, guys. Um, look at this one. So these are basically diapers that I don't think I'm going to keep. Um, that I'm probably going to regrift or do giveaways or something like that. Some of these are used, like I said. Um, I don't have anything against used diapers. I just don't really think I'm going to use any because I have so many already. Um, and basically this whole bin is filled with diapers that I've weeded out of my immediate collection that I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do use as giveaways or something like that. So look forward to some of those. Even if you don't have a baby, you can still enter into a giveaway. When I do it, I don't know when I'm going to do it. But yeah, look at that. There's like a whole bin of this, really. So, and there's some baby clothes down there. But, yeah. So, <laughs> oh, and then that's my bag of sewing stuff. You can probably see some more diaper, little, <laughs> more wipes I did, guys. Yeah, I went crazy. I went crazy. So, that is my diaper stash video. Um, I had fun. I hope you did, too. Those are my pre-folds. Oh, my box of binkies and more liners. <laughs> yes. Yes, a whole drawer of binkies. Um, so that's my diaper stash. That is about 150 diapers, I want to say, give or take. Um, I'm not going to do an actual count, but I'm pretty sure that's what the count is last time I checked. And I had a blast. I had a blast doing it. I hope you had a blast watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I plan on doing a lot with you guys. Hopefully you guys will stay interested. Hey, and if you don't, totally, 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 totally understand. But that was the much requested, oh, that's pup sleeping over there. And then that little thing over there, I vermicompost. <laughs> so that's like Ben is like filled with worms that eats all my trash. I'll show you. No, I won't because you don't want to see that. But yeah, if you want to see how I vermicompost, let me know and I'll make a separate video. But that's where all my vegetation waste goes. I have like over 
3,000 worms in that bin that are just having a ball with all the scraps that I give in there. So if you want to see that video, hey, let me know. I'll post it. But this is my collection, and I had fun! Yay! I hope you had fun watching. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe.